afternoon. I represent a company called My Systems. Uh, we provide solutions that uh, capture and analyze transactions and interactions to provide you insight and gain impacts in real time. Our solutions enable organizations to improve business performance, increase operational efficiency, prevent financial crime, and of course enhance security and safety. Within the NICE security group, uh, we provide solutions for law enforcement and government agencies in intelligence and public safety. <coughs> We endeavor to make the world, of course, a safer place by providing innovative security solutions. We take pride in delivering solutions for securing our borders, our cities, our vital assets and infrastructures, as earlier mentioned in the discussions, which are uh, detrimental to the economy and safety of the nation. Uh, in view of the topic today, uh, for this session, which is about technological framework for safer cities, I would like to draw your attention on how web intelligence uh, can be used to contribute on this effect. Uh, web intelligence is also commonly called as open source intelligence, or the cloud as you see on the slides. In specific, putting the focus on safe security solutions for uh, cities, this technology can provide uh, a, a, a contributing and I would say more of, or more of a supplementing factor to your city surveillance infrastructure already in place and proposed for fusing further data into it by maintaining public safety and law and order. It can monitor social issues such as safety and security of women, violence, crime. It can draw inferences from sentiment analysis on public opinions, on uh, issues in regard to civic amenities, infrastructure, law and order, for example, as well. You can monitor civilian unrest, and of course also mitigate these. I would say it could be dharnas, buns, demonstrations, uh, and so on. This can also be used to detect threats, as uh, the Honorable Chair also mentioned earlier about Boston attacks. Here is an example which shows pre-attack tweets that could be extracted and collected from the cloud itself. You can also identify new targets, people could be handlers and of course predict any ongoing events in real time in all dimensions of time I would say which is predominantly before, during or after. <coughs> the cloud is a green field for intelligence to actually be just waiting to be harvested actually. Uh, today we know that social habitats have migrated to the cloud. The cloud is, it has become our office, our storage warehouse, our social playground, our everything. Social networks today hold digital maps of our social ties, our interactions and our relationships. This means that we can fully comprehend a person of interest, a subject, a target. We can com com fully comprehend a target's social ecosystem just by analyzing that subject's social networks. <coughs> Our web and solution called CITER is specifically developed for law enforcement and intelligence organizations. It is a holistic web and tool that harvests open sources and extracts intelligence from social network analysis and semantic analysis from blogs, forums, chat rooms and other websites. We basically include two functionalities. 
One is called the collection, the other is the analysis of those. Collection refers to harvesting information from both the surface web and the deep web. Surface web is the main area of open source. These are news sites, search engines, blogs, and those kind. And deep web are restricted areas or private areas where you require login credentials to access to access them. These could be social networks like the Facebooks, the, um, uh, the Twitters, the uh, private chat rooms or closed chat rooms that you will call, and so on. When we talk of collection, uh, we use dedicated and customized crawlers to harvest information and content from virtually any website or any service in the cloud and anywhere in the globe. This means that you can acquire content generated outside our national borders because open source has no boundaries, no rules, no regulations. I would also like to add that along with this harvesting of information from online sources, you can also integrate your existing databases. Paid of criminal records, as mentioned earlier, CCDNS being very predominantly today. <coughs> Case files, which could be in Word format, Excel formats, or PDFs. Call data records, for example, as well. Transportation records like the Wahan and the Sati that we are already working on, the LPRs, etc. Now when these get integrated uh, into the CITA system, there is a mutual enrichment of what is collected online with what is available from these uh, databases. How that is happening is that we perform textual analytics on these uh, records or files and make the information searchable. Talking about analysis part, uh, we provide analytic web models for investigation of topics, targets, news sites or news items, and public opinion. Each web model includes predefined procedures and investigation methods that simplify the overall usability and user experience. For example, uh, if you talk about target investigation web model, you can extract a target social ties. You can look at its geolocation over time and also generate all the content that he has posted online. You talk about uh, news sites, you can see highlights of discussions, hot topics, trending, Talk about public opinion, you can see again talk packs that are trending into the uh, and social networks and people who are mostly influencing and dominating these public opinions. We also provide you powerful analytical uh, engines. Talk about semantic analysis for example, this generates interpretations and relationships. Entity extraction generates from large volumes of unstructured text, an address, a person's name, or even a type of weapon. Another example is the name processing engine, uh, which can help match a person's name in multiple phonological systems. So, be a name written in Hindi, Tamil, Chinese, Urdu, Pashto, or whatever the system will be able to match and track it. We also have what we call as the social network engine, which extracts metadata from all known uh, social networks like the Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. This processes this metadata into structured web models. These web models enable comprehending the enormous social network arena using intuitive dashboards. The dashboards present summarize information such as most active users, most active groups, 
hot trending topics or hashtags, uh, discussions, and geolocation data. Nice offers, dedicated and context-based tools that are 100% intelligence oriented. Our tools are designed by intelligence professionals, for intelligence professionals, and these are customized to handle cyber intelligence and cyber different challenges faced by the new world today. I thank you for your time. Have a nice day.